Get ready for the boom. Talks as well with his fists as he does at the announce table. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. Something tells me we're going to have a royal delivery of some bad news. He is the longest reigning WWE Champion in history. From Abruzzo, Italy, weighing in at 265 pounds, the Worldwide Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the first superstar, Bruno San Martino. The man who sold out the world's most famous arena 187 times. Looks like he sold out this place too, Corey. The pride of Italy, perhaps the greatest pro wrestler of all time. Well, Michael, I think his championship reigns certainly back up that claim. Bruno San Martino has had one of the most illustrious careers in the history of this company, maybe in the history of this entire industry even. He's the definition of a true champion. Bruno has held title gold for years and years on end, defeating all comers. Anyone who wants a piece of him gets to have their shot, but very few have overcome the Herculean strongman. Lots of guys talk about reaching the top of the mountain. Bruno San Martino is the top of the mountain. But then we've got Wade Barrett, who is so focused on causing his opponent extreme physical harm. That's true, Saxton, but Barrett also creeps into people's psyche and challenges their convictions. He's dangerous on multiple levels. Oh. Catches a punch. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. From way up, good lord, taking flight. The one-two punch of high risk, High reward. There's a lot to be careful of when you're in the ring with Wade Barrett. We know he has the striking ability and the technical skill to seriously punish an opponent. Yeah, but Cole, he doesn't get in the ring often. That's definitely something his opponent's aware of going into this match tonight. I fully expect him to exploit Barrett there. Still in it. Just like that, Barrett gets pounced on. Able to avoid there. Section and now Barrett is all gears in motion. Sam Martino's on the wrong side of every exchange. How did scout it? Oh, oh kick right to the back. A heel hook. Locked in, you can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. Hits him with the counter. Boom, what a kick. What now? Foot right to the belly. Into the cover. Easily stops the ref's count. A truly impressive kick out this late. Put into the corner now. Trapped in the corner. Oh, multiple punches. No escape from these punches. Puts the boot to the midsection. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Uh, and breaks the hold, but damage has been done. With the boot. Barrett to the top. Incoming. Oh, God. The competitive spirit. And he goes for the pin. And a kick out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Wade Barrett hoists him up. He... 
Front kick to the body, and check out this power. And the rope save him there. But will he be able to last much longer? Here he goes for the win. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. How in the world did he kick out? Using the elbow to escape the attack. Great strength being shown here. Down on the win point. Ah, oh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. This looking to end it here. This could be it. Kicks out. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. What a per wait, 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 wait. And yeah, that's a big win right there. And I'm gonna check on a. Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar. No, oh, come on, this is uncalled for. Now, what does this prove? Ah, this is going to be fun, because here comes the Ninja Master, the Master of Martial Arts. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! It looks like we might not be waiting for the best. This rivalry is just that intense, Cole. You can't put a stopper on aggression like that. Oh, that was ugly. Catching the competition completely unprepared. Didn't even see it coming. This referee has seen it up and issued a warning. Yeah, now is not the time to push the referee's patience. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Akira Tozawa is a bit of a live wire who has explosive offense and underrated grappling. Corey, how do you deal with a superstar as volatile as Tozawa? Tozawa has those skills you mentioned, Cole, but he can also be a wild card. If Tozawa's opponent stays patient, they can capitalize when Tozawa makes a mistake. Shifts it back onto him. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Uh-oh. Turning the tables there. Oh my God! Oh, are you oh my God. kidding me? The back of his neck. Facing off on the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Oh, oh man! And gets tossed back into the mat. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in your vocabulary at this point. <laughs> I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Ow! 
Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And Davy Boy not looking as fierce after absorbing that blow. Yeah, and Tazawa's opponent really feeling the power of Tazawa now. To the sky. Oh, misses the mark. Brutal boot. Oh, solid kick across the back. Crafty way to get out of harm there. What a hurricanrana. And he goes for the pin. No, he kicks out. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. And Davey Boy reverses. Canadian backbreaker submission. This is an agonizing position to be in, but able to break the grip and escape. Shot to the gut. Wide with the enziguri, but through the back door, and the second time connects. So much damage inflicted. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Kazawa goes down low. Man, that did not. And into the count. Two count, kicks out. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Kazawa felt that coming. There's the crucifix, nicely done. He has just completely lost his wind. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Things do not look good for him now, guys. But if anyone can jumpstart a rally, it is Tazawa. Kick right to the back of the leg. Batten down the hatches. These two are unloading. Slugging away with everything they've got. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Just teeing off with that fight for everybody. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Snapmare takedown. Oh, my! Single leg drop kick. Kazawa gets counted. Uh-oh. He moves just in time. Shining Wizard finds the mark. That's Tazawa delivering like a ninja in the night. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here is your winner, Akira Tazawa. An unexpected loss for the British Bulldog here in this one. Oh, man, I'm a bit surprised myself to see Davy Boy down like this. Goes to show you, Saxton, muscles aren't everything. She is ready to get in the competition's face.
Mi Chin is as Mi Chin does, never afraid to do something crazy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing the OC from Fontana, California, Mi Chin! You know, guys, what I like about Mi Chin is that she isn't afraid to stand up against the injustice here in WWE. Or you can call it standing up. I call it sticking her nose in other people's business where it doesn't belong. Well, we know she just loves getting in people's faces, and maybe, just maybe, she'll get in your face, Corey. She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Self-proclaimed most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Self-proclaimed, Cole, would you listen to yourself? I'm sitting right here. I am making the proclamation. We are all witnessing the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Corey, you're a bit biased. So? At least he admits it. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Oh, and another. Let's go, yeah, let's go. Oh, tossed aside. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Turned that one around. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Her shoulders are down. Quick shoulder up. She's really letting her opponent know how much fight she has. Able to avoid any harm there. Placed in the corner. Look at this. Incredible Hurricane Rana. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Oh, face stop. Impressive reversal there. The superstar is striking in every way possible. A barrage. Yeah. Yeah. A mat slam with some attitude. Corey, I'm not telling you anything you don't know by saying that Carmella has a tendency to run her mouth. Do you think that could possibly be a detriment here? Now, Cole, I would never suggest that Carmella should talk less. But I will say Carmella's trash talking possibly allows her competition the perfect opportunity to counterattack. All her opponent needs is one opening to capitalize on, and she could negate all of Carmella's masterful mind games. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Someone call a dentist. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh. Both these women trading shots and looks like she's in retreat. Uh, what were you saying? Change of plans. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. And the fight's gonna continue. Back into the lines, then we go. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Springboard misses the target. Damn. Carmella gets 
gets waylaid. respect shown to them before the bell. You can't deny that it gave them a bit of an edge in this one. An edge that drove them to come out on top. Who knows? Maybe this win will grant them the respect that was clearly denied of them earlier. Hopefully that's not still weighing on their mind. They just won. That's all that matters in the long run. So much bad blood here. Wasted little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. I can only imagine what these two are going to do to each other during the course of this matchup. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. But should we really be going through with this match after what happened before the bell? Well, if you want to go stand in the way of these superstars, go for it. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't look like there's any stopping them. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Every strike more devastating than the last. He's turning the tables. Ooh. No way. Oh, God. Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. Ooh, stinging kick. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Styles allowing the WWE Universe to revitalize his bulldog mentality. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. Countered it just in time. Spinebuster. 99. Looking for the quick pin. the shoulder up. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. Playing possum. Shoulders down. It kicks out of two. A strong kick out to stay in the fight. Big flying forearm. Springboard moonsault. And that was an extra. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Raising the arm before one. Not even close to down and out at this point. Ah, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. A big splash. He's taking some good hits. Spinebuster. 99. Power. 
Oh, dominance. I don't think people realize the amount of from the top. Ooh. On the top. Double axe handle. He can end it here. And he breaks the count quickly. I didn't think this match was close to over. He must have had that scouted. Wow, what an arm drag. That holds back Styles' attack. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Oh, across the float. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, Boogeyman anticipated that. And a well executed move we just saw there. The oh, world's strongest splash. Oh, my! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Dodged right on cue. Wow, what an arm drag. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Watch out! German suplex! Nine. He is just reeling from that offense. When Styles gets on the attack like that, you don't want none. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. From the top, diving double axe handle. And a counter, a counter by Styles. And they're going shot for shot, low for low. Oh. Neither competitor is backing down. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Reverses it into a takedown. Big forearm. Sent into the corner. He's one step ahead there. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Oh, what a counter. Whoa, leaping through the air. And it's fascinating to see disappointment on the bizarre face of someone like the Boogeyman. Ripped in the hard way. And he said, you're not... Styles stepping through. The Styles clash! The Boogeyman is bleeding profusely now. AJ Styles gets a huge win. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. I didn't think they had it in them. No question they had to dig deep to get this win and shrug off all the damage taken earlier on. Just goes to show that breaking the rules doesn't always pay off. No rules were broken, Saxton, but it was almost worth the risk if you ask me. I thought they almost had them.
I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 505 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. A true amateur standout Julius Creed and their opponents. First, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius Creed. A guy with all the tools to succeed in WWE, wrestling skills and an intensity level that's off the charts. If you're looking for some good old fashioned wrestling, then Julius Creed is about to give you some. The sky is the limit for this guy. If I could be so bold as to make a prediction, someone's gonna get smashed. And representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds. Brutus Creed! Few men in WWE can match this guy when it comes to pure wrestling. Except maybe his brother. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do in the ring. An extremely bright future for Brutus Creed. Bills into the ring and the referee signals for the bell. Chaos is right, Michael. These teams just could not wait to get their hands on each other. Placing them into the corner. Oh, nice assisted fireman's takeover. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Tagged in. Was coming there. A stalemate of counters. Shoulder tackle. Gal's aggression seemed to be quelled by that attack. Great athleticism from Creed. Tag is good. Tag team offense on the way. The boot of boom got him. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Big forearm. That turns it around for Julius. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh, goes without saying, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Tossed around like a rag doll. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Boom, what a right. There's the tag. Looks like some tandem offense on the horizon. Gut wrenching. Oh, into Ooh. a splash. Nice. And Carl must have been thinking more about his check than this match during that one. Great athleticism from Creed. Taking flight. Splash. The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones.
This could do it. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Planning on what to do next. Right across the larynx. Great wherewithal on the counter. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Carl gets jolted by the counter. Loving blow. Oh, man. And stomping away in the corner. Just ruthless. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. He can end it here. And he manages to kick out in one. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Boom, hit the button. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Close line. And it's gonna be hard for Creed to send a message if he gets outmatched like that. Yeah, and Anderson proved his mean streak is a mile wide with that attack. Answering back. Oh my goodness, dribbling the up. That could be it. Celebrate all night long. Here are your winners Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers. This pairing paid strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. The Creed Brothers showing off their athletic skills tonight. Julius and Brutus sure are fun to watch. A chorus has broken out for Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, Stop it. Stop it. You almost shut up the entire arena just now. I was having fun, guys. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. Rollins is an architect, a visionary, and a revolutionary who adapts to challenges like a chameleon. Seth Rollins will do whatever it takes, find any strategy to further his greatness.
It's George the Animal Steel. Be careful, this arena is about to turn into a disaster area. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 275 pounds, George the Animal Steel. The Animal is one of the most unique and beloved competitors in WWE history. You never know what will happen when he competes. Here we go. Look at this guy. How is this a sanctioned match? Does he know the rules? Can he even read them? There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring and we are officially underway. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Oh, Seth gets caught with a counter. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Short clothesline hits its mark. Fails to connect on the springboard. A rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. That's not right. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? This maniac's out of control. That's a sadistic individual. You can sever an artery or suffer nerve damage after something like that. Or at least need a tetanus shot. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Fighting back with a counter. When you're taking on a mastermind like Seth Rollins, the most important thing to remember is that you have to take away his ability to control the match. Pace is a good place to start. If Rollins wants things fast, slow them down. If he tries to be methodical, start out running him. Yeah, owning the tempo here could definitely fluster Rollins. Ooh. Versatility from Rollins. Shot right to the kidney. He turns it around. Hanging back with their own counter. Rollins goes behind for the schoolboy. Oh, super kick! And he's taking this to the outside now. Here comes the setup. Double underhook. There it is. Pedigree. And that was a big freaking move by Seth freaking Rollins. Visionary and revolutionary. The adrenaline is pumping and the WWE Universe is on his side. Can't quite get him there. The top of the foot. That'll stun you. Seth Rollins back of the neck with a foot. Blow. Drawing dangerously close to a count out here. Rollins known to be irritating. We're seeing no different now. He has a task at hand but prefers to be showboating right now. He's doing a whole And Seth Rollins is the winner. Here is your winner. Oh, taking it right to it. No way. The out of the ring count getting the best of them tonight. I hate a count out. I feel cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated.
Here comes the personification of longevity and hard work, the 16-time world champion. Uh, not just the 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. The following champion versus champion contests is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, John Cena! Cena's a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination. From his in-ring career to Hollywood to charity work, John Cena has left a tangible impact on people's lives. Now he's about to leave a tangible mark on his opponent, too. Creatures of the night rejoice. The dead man has returned. The aura of the Undertaker is one that always intimidates. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE Champion, the The magnificence of the Phenom. Truly a mesmerizing scene. The legendary Phenom creates an atmosphere unlike anything you will see. Talk to anyone who's ever been in the ring opposite The Undertaker and they will tell you nothing prepares you for this. The stoic walk of the dead man. Great striking and MMA skills. The reckoning has just arrived. I'm gonna say his opponent made a big mistake by just showing up tonight. The dead man's opponent is about to fight for his life. Yeah, the dead man loves to dish out punishment. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting. Well, I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Look at this, going counter for counter. Ouch. Oh, right, right. Look at, uh-oh. Able to reverse that one. Into the corner now. Oh, that was inventive. Undertaker retaliates. Big forearm. Bad predicament right here. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Oh. In this match, you have to expect the Undertaker to stay focused on stopping Cena cold. A deliberate pace definitely favors the Phenom. And for Cena to have a hope of winning, he needs to control this matchup. He's got to set an aggressive tempo and keep his foot on the gas against the dead man. Whoa. 
Uh-oh. Timely reversal on Undertaker. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. All the way up. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Big boot. Jeez. Doesn't go well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Vicious right forearm. Ooh. Oh, the reversal by Cena. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Straight impact on the throat. Ooh, right to the arm. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. That's how you wear down your opponent. Crank in the head. Oh, God, that hurt. Undertaker headed top rope. Staggering to his feet from the top. Side steps and delivers the backbreaker. Look at the power from Cena. Ah, oh, Cena with a face buster. All the way up. The big time power. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. The kick lands. He skirts away, living to fight another day. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Boom. Oof. Kick finds it. Toss him aside. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. He switches it back around. Sided back to the mat. Vicious right forearm. Solid punch. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And here's John Cena. The five knuckle shuffle. And John Cena proving that he still got it with that move. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Undertaker gets reversed. Great awareness by the dead man. This one is headed outside, guys. Big punch to the body. Oh, look at this. Neck lock into it. What a suplex. Scoop slam. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. The dead man powering up his opponent for Snake Eyes. And look out! Big boot by the taker. Undertaker. It's going for the Dragon Sleeper. He's got it locked in! He may not have a choice! And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Oh, close line.
reversal. Can they go on the attack? Uh-oh. Watch out. Cena's got him up. Cena can end it there. through the fiery gates of hell and came out the other end victorious. And here comes the Texas Rattlesnake! The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin! A multi-time world champion, former king of the ring, first three-time Royal Rumble winner. The Texas Rattlesnake is synonymous with truly epic main event brawls. And I think we're about to see another one of those main event brawls here tonight. Many believe Stone Cold is the greatest of all time. Things are about to get good. And his opponent, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page! This right here is a no-nonsense superstar. More like a no-respect superstar. They should thank the higher-ups once in a while. Don't you call yourself the savior of misbehavior? This isn't about me. That's neither here nor there, Cole. One thing you can't do, guys, is brawl with the Texas Rattlesnake. No, you're absolutely right about that, Cole. This superstar needs to rely on his technical ability and expertise because you don't want to throw hands with the Rattlesnake.
Gretchen has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Rolling next now. Brutal. Dropping the bow. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Brought down with the Bulldog. Caught with the Larian. Makes him pay with a counter. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Kick to the stomach. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Getting set up for something in the corner. Corner, and a couple back elbows to follow. Oh, no, 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 no. Strongest flag. Oh, wait a second. Maybe not. Roll up. Gets the shoulder up after one. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Able to give him the slip. Neck breaker excellently executed. The Texas rattlesnake not looking so deadly after taking that one. Oh, stop right to the hand. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Sit out, Gord Buster, and he goes for the pin. And still hanging on. He really thought that was it. Swing neck breaker. Time. Vertical suplex. Nice. Neck breaker excellently executed. Oh my discus punch. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, and this is the hostility Austin wanted to bring. Uh, stop right to the gut. Really just laying it in. Seated bionic elbow. Put it in a position now. Ooh, right to the throat. Don't pull with his trademark offense. Austin cashing in on his opportunities. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Stone Cold too slow there. He isn't taking this line down anymore. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Counter after counter. Absorbing some tough hits now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Right to the face. My God. Swinging neck breaker. Kick to the gut. Ranked around into a neck breaker. He's going for it all. Look out! DDT with diving delivery. Amazing. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. And in all momentum has been taken from Austin. But Austin is just one move from turning this around. Played it hard with a reverse DDT. We might be close to the end. This soaring. He misses, and this has got to be it. Kicks out. He still has life. What do you have? 
have to do to put this guy away? Austin, stop! Nobody recovered when Austin hits Come there. On. He stays alive, he stays alive. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. Austin has put away so many opponents like this before, but tonight is going to be a tougher battle for the Rattlesnake. Spine Buster. Ooh, that hurt. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh, man. Oh, attacked in the midsection. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. Hoist it up. Gut buster! From the apron. Somebody better check his nose. And he slides him back to the mat. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. He's slugging it out toe to toe now. Oh, ouch. The fight is on, and it's furious. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Ooh. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Bam! WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. And building up speed. But does he get him here? That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve Austin basking in his triumph here. Stone Cold celebrating like only Stone Cold can. Somebody bring us a mop. We're going to need it. Well, here comes a real American, a living legend in our midst. Guys, I can't even hear myself think. This place just exploded. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the immortal.
So between WCW and WWE, Hogan has had double-digit world title reigns. Not to mention he's a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name in the business in the 80s and 90s. Dominant title reigns, countless main events. There's nobody like the Hulkster. And nobody has been able to answer the immortal question, what you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Tonic Mysterio. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Now look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Dominic gets the better there. What a clothesline! Ouch! Lifting their opponent back to their feet and up. Oh my! Discus punch! Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? 
someone's reputation. He can pin his opponent right here. And he kicks out at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh! And Hogan continuing the charge. Hofstra showing the colossal power he possesses. And he finds an answer for the Hulkster. Oh, he retaliates. Tough position to be caught in here. Lands face first. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, uncorked a big punch. I able to counter. Showing he's not out of it. Dominic got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. Dominic able to avert that. And Dominic's resolve might be wavering here. Dominic now is going to have to dig down deep. Driving down with the axe handle. He is still in this. Scoop slam by Hogan. And here comes the patent. Big leg drop by Hogan. Can that finish Dominic? That's got to be it. Two. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner. The And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation.